From the golden girl calling it quits after the 2016 incident, to everyone betting on her to win big in 2024, here's why Gabby Douglas's return to gymnastics should be worrisome. Whatever happened to the golden girl, not many people get to brag about inspiring a feature film based on their lives, all before they hit 20. Gabby's story inspired millions of aspiring gymnasts everywhere. She was a three-time Olympic gold medalist and the first African-American Olympian to become an all-around champion. Everyone knew about Gabby, and everyone aspired to be just like her one day. She was a part of the U.S. female gymnastics team, the Final Five, along with Simone Biles at the 2016 Rio Summer Olympics, where, by the way, she secured her third gold medal. However, Shortly after making history, Gabby became the subject of widespread controversy and announced that she'd be taking a step back from gymnastics. Her announcement shocked the world and people wanted to know more about her shocking exit. Gabby had left the sport she loved because of the toxic environment. For a bit of context here, 2016 was a year of many highs and lows for U.S. gymnastics. It might have been the year Gabby and Simone Biles trailblazed at the Rio Olympics, but it was also the year allegations of misconduct against Larry Nassar, the U.S. gymnastics sports physician, came to light. Altogether, Nassar was accused of abusing 256 young girls and women and was ultimately sentenced to 60 years behind bars in December 2017. How does this tie back to Gabby? While she wasn't one of the 256 women who brought a case against Nassar, her teammate from the Final Five, Ali Raisman, was. Ali made startling revelations against Nassar, but Gabby apparently wasn't amused. In fact, she tweeted saying that women in gymnastics should dress modestly to avoid attracting unwanted attention. Now, while her tweet didn't outright mention Ali by name, everyone pieced two and two together, including Simone Biles. Simone then proceeded to tell Gabby that she was disappointed but not surprised. Gabby's tweet itself, along with Simone's response, was more than enough for fans to start attacking the gymnast online. Now, to her credit, Gabby did offer an apology almost immediately afterward, where she claimed that she hadn't worded her statement properly and that abuse under any circumstance was a crime. She also alleged that she'd been abused by Nassar too. The damage, however, had already been done, and people started demanding that Gabby be expelled from the U.S. gymnastics team. For Gabby, the backlash triggered another time she'd been the subject of media attention back in 2012. That was when the U.S. gymnast revealed that she'd faced bullying and racism while training with Excalibur Gymnastics. Gabby claimed that her teammates made derogatory remarks against her based on the color of her skin. The CEO, however, denied the claims and stated that Gabby was making it all up for attention. That meant that, for the second time in her brief gymnastics career, Gabby had been shut out by her teammates. In 2017, she announced that it was best for her mental health to take a step back and reevaluate her future in U.S. gymnastics. She'd since gone on to establish a strong Hollywood career, such as winning the first season of The Masked Singer in 2021 and starring in the Disney XD series, Kickin' It! Plus, an episode of Undercover Boss. Gabby's career outside of gymnastics had been thriving, and many believed that maybe she was considering leaving the sport for good. Still, it wasn't like she'd formally retired. If a gymnast wants to retire for good, they have to submit an application to take their name out of the U.S. anti-doping testing pool. Gabby hadn't done that yet, and her fans were holding on to hope that this meant she'd be coming back one day. Well, that day is here. Gabby Douglas is officially back. After years and years of radio silence from Gabby and her team, it looks like she's finally making a comeback. The news first broke on October 2022, when media outlets reported that Gabby had been seen training with other Olympians. It wasn't until a few months later, though, that her coach, Valerie Lucan, announced that Gabby was gearing up for a return. This was followed by an announcement from Gabby herself, where she declared that she'd be making her official return at the 2024 Olympics. Obviously, the news quite nearly broke the internet. Everyone was excited for one of the best gymnasts in the world to return and dominate the sport again. However, once the hype around her sudden return had died down, everyone had only one question to ask. What about the toxic culture that expelled her from the sport the first time? Gymnastics has widely been regarded as one of the most physically demanding sports, and one where you're highly prone to injuries. Simone Biles had famously withdrawn from the all-around final in 2021, 
claiming that the sport and everything that came with it had taken a nasty toll on her mental health. Even then, she was criticized for her decision. Many people claimed that Simone signed up for the physically and mentally demanding world and needed to stick through it. Reactions were mixed, just like when Gabby Douglas quit the sport. You'd have to admit that despite all the fame from when she was winning gold medals left and right, Gabby left the sport at a time when she was in the limelight for all the wrong reasons. Not only were people angry at her statements directed at her teammate, but also that she'd left a sport at the height of her career. It's also important to mention that gymnasts don't really, rather can't really, take days off. They have to train every single day if they want to keep their heart rate up and their stamina in check. Gabby has been out of the game for seven years at this point, and while it'd be insane to claim that she's lost all her mojo, Realistically, she's probably not performing at her best now, at 27 years old. Plus, not everyone's thrilled that she's back. Michaela Maroney, the gymnast popularized for a viral meme in addition to her skills, was one of the first people to welcome back Gabby. Miss Val, the US gymnastics coach who'd been working with girls like Gabby for 37 years, announced that if there was one person who could come back stronger than ever, it'd be her. Fans of the US gymnast took over to Twitter, declaring that the 2024 games were Gabby's for the taking. However, not everyone's thrilled she's back. Fans haven't forgiven her for what she said back in 2016 and believe that Gabby's absence was just to let the controversy die down. After making her accusations against Nassar Public, Ali announced that she would be retiring from gymnastics for good. She hadn't reacted to Gabby's controversial tweet publicly, but it was rumored that she was disappointed. Other members of the Final Five had also distanced themselves from Gabby at this point, and Simone's tweet claiming that she was disappointed but not surprised sparked rumors that maybe Gabby had made problematic comments in the past, too. All that speculation, sure, but one thing's for sure. Gabby's received a lukewarm welcome at best. A few fans questioned why she'd even consider coming back after such a long pause. What's ironic, though, is that there was a time when Gabby would have thought her return was insane, too. Shortly before winning her third Olympic title, Gabby revealed that it was unlikely for gymnasts to compete in more than two Olympics. Now, obviously, several gymnasts, including Gabby herself, have proved this assumption wrong, but there's a reason why gymnasts have short-lived careers. As mentioned, the sport is highly competitive, as well as mentally and physically draining. If you skip practice for one day, you run the risk of undoing your progress. Miss Val, Gabby's coach, also claimed that most gymnasts retire by the time they reach college age. According to her, older gymnasts run the risk of debilitating injuries. Younger ones can bounce back from falls, sprains, and splits like nothing happened. Older ones, however, become chronically injured if they're not careful. Gabby's sure that won't be the case for her, though. Love her or hate her, one thing's for sure. Gabby Douglas is a force to be reckoned with. She's made it clear that while there's obviously a long road ahead and she'd have to work twice as hard to regain her former glory, she has what it takes to win her fourth gold medal at the Olympics. People, even those who haven't forgiven her yet, admit that if anyone can make the impossible return after seven years, it's Gabby. The US gymnastics team of 2016 at the Rio Olympics was probably the best female gymnastics team in US history. Gabby was, obviously, a part of it, and so was Simone. The two of them haven't publicly mended things as of yet, but if they compete alongside one another at the 2024 Olympics, there's no telling what they'll achieve. Competitors are scared of Gabby, and that's a fact. She could compete at 27 after a seven-year-long break from the sport and still perform better than anyone years younger. Do you think competitors are amping up practice after Gabby announced her comeback? So, from everyone betting on her to win big in 2024, to the golden girl calling it quits after the 2016 incident, that was why Gabby Douglas's return to gymnastics should be worrisome.